Hey everyone, welcome back to new content of Cybroses. In today's video, we will be discussing about how to manage a bank account in a foreign currency. In Odoo, every transaction is recorded in the default currency of the company. And the reports are all based on that default currency. When you have a bank account in a foreign currency, for every transaction, Odoo stores two value. That is the debit credit in the currency of the company and the debit credit in the currency of the bank account. So currency rates are updated automatically using the web service of banking institution. So by default, Odoo uses the European Central Bank web services, but there are also different options. Now let's see how can we configure and activate multi-currencies. In, in order to manage that, we can just dive into the accounting module and under the configuration settings. First, we just need to enable uh, the multi-currencies. So here you can see that the physical localization is set to India. So uh, that from this we can understand that the company has an Indian currency, but this company will be having a transaction with a foreign currency. So uh, while making the foreign transactions in the foreign currency, we know that uh, there can be lows and gains because uh, we know when we just convert one currency into another currency, there will be the fluctuations in the currency rates. So here, as we just drag down here, you would be able to find uh, the currencies uh, and we can just manage with the currency. And by default, we will be managing with the currency as INR because that is the default currency of the company. And we can also just configure multiple cu currencies for a company, even if it is managing under a particular currency. And here you can see that we have just automatic, I mean, automated uh, or enable the automatic currency rate, which update the exchange rate automatically and we have set the service as Europe Central Bank and if you want to choose any other services you can choose it from the list and you, we can also set a interval over here that can be uh, our a daily basis manually or weekly or monthly so for the time being I'll be using the interval as daily so that the exchange rate will be updated um, daily and here you can also find the next rare. Now we also just need to activate different foreign currencies. So in order to manage with the foreign currencies, you can just move on to the configuration and in the configuration, uh, you can find the currencies under accounting. So if you want to just deal with multiple transactions in um, with multiple currencies, you can activate all the currencies. So currently we are just going to manage uh, with the USD as a foreign currency. So here you can see that the rate of the USD um, uh, as 83.15 for today's date and for uh, 1 5 20 24, the rate of 1 USD into INR will be 81.26. Now we can also make the transactions. So before making the transaction here, we also just need to configure the journey. In order to configure the journey, here you can find the configuration menu where you can just create the new journal. So here you can see that we have already created a journal, which is BPN Paribas and which has a type of bank. And here you would be able to find, we can also set um, the bank account, suspense bank account, as well as the profit account, loss account, and uh, it is mandatory to set the short code. As we are just dealing with the uh, INR as the currency for a company, which is the default currency for a company, that currency will be automatically updated under the journal. And under the bank account number, we can set the bank account number as well as the bank details and we can set the bank fees as undefined yet. And under the incoming payments, you can see that every payment method is used as manual and under the outgoing payment method also, that will be set as manual and check. And under the advanced settings, we just do need to set anything over here. Apart from this, we also need to set uh, the accounts uh, as default. So as you just dra drag down over here, here you can see different accounts that we can just manage or uh, default accounts, such as the past exchange different entries. So under our, uh, the journal, here you can see exchange difference and under the gain, here you can also find the foreign exchange. And um, here we can also set a foreign exchange for lows also. Now let's move on to the vendor tab and choose the bills because here we just need to create a new bill. Where you can click on new button and let's choose the vendor which is mandatory 
and the vendor is ODP person and it is mandatory to set the bill date and let me choose the date as 1st of May 2024. We, we also just need to set the journal uh, currency. So here we are just going to manage with the foreign currency for our bank. So here you can see that we are just going to manage this transaction in USD. So let me let set likewise and here you can choose the product. So uh, afterwards here you can just move on to the uh, product which is uh, uh, yeah customizable desk and here you can see that now uh, the price is just converted into the USD and uh, you can see uh, we can save this and confirm. So once we confirm this here you can find the changes under the reporting of uh, um, unrealized currency gain or losses. So here you can see uh, the change that is made and uh, that is the balance in the foreign currency, balance at the operational cost, balance at the current rate and adjustments. Everything will be displayed over here. So if you want to just make any comparisons with the previous periods or uh, same period or any other dates, you can just apply it over here. So if you want to just find the exchange rate that is a uh, 1 INR to USD or uh, um, any other changes you can also get that so let me change this into one INR into uh, USD like uh, applying with two let me apply that here you would be able to find the change over here so as you just make any manual changes um, Odoo will also um, give a message like you are using custom exchange rate if you want to reset to Odoo's rate you can uh, also reset that and here you would be able to find uh, the adjustments that is made and uh, this also uh, shows the previous adjustments. And um, um, now let's move on to the vendors uh, and we can also find the difference. So as we just move on to the vendor bills here, we can just pause this. So let me choose the, uh, yeah, we have paused it and we can also make the uh, payment registration by clicking on register payment. And we can also find differences. So um, as you just move on to the configuration settings here, you can see uh, under the accounts, that is the default accounts that is used for gains and lows here, you would be able to find the change. So currently the balance is minus 13.82 for foreign exchange profit and uh, for uh, um, exchange lows, it will be set to zero. So let me uh, move on to the lows and here you can see the expenses or the balance is set to zero now uh, let's um yeah make the payment of this vendor bill and let's create the payment and after reconciliation the payment will be moving to the bank and under the configuration settings you would be able to find uh the accounts balance also so here you can see the gate will be now changed into minus 27 because it has already a balance of minus 13 point uh, something. So as we just made the uh, payment registration, that balance is now just updated. And uh, now when you just move on to the reporting under the unrealized currency gains or losses, you would not be able to find uh, the change that is made over here. So um, I hope this video clarifies how to manage the uh, bank in foreign currency so if you have any doubts regarding this video uh, give a comment and if you want auto customizations and auto tutorial videos feel free to contact Cyprosis as always stay awesome and thank you for watching the video